here's how to tell you did not ovulate even if your app swears you did. Now, first of all, your app is really just guessing. It's using a mathematically prediction based on a previous cycle length, not your biology. No, can't do that. Ovulation is really not a date. It's an event and unless you track the event you can't confirm it. The biggest giveaway is that your basal body temperature never rises and stays up for at least 10 to 14 days. Now if your temperature bumps for one day and then drops again that's not ovulation that's a hormonal fluctuation. Another clue is your cervical mucus. If you never ever see true stretchy egg white slippery mucus you might not have ovulated. Apps cannot detect mucus, only you can. And yes, it looks different for everyone. But a dead giveaway is if you're always dry there and never see any changes in consistency, you might really not ovulate. And the part that nobody tells you is that you can get a positive OPK and still not ovulate. That OPK just measures a luteinizing hormone surge and this LH surge can happen without releasing an egg, especially if you're stressed, inflamed, you might have thyroid issues, insulin resistance and PCOS. Women with PCOS often see that surge without ovulation. So if your luteal phase is suddenly short and if your period comes early, if you spot for days before you're bleeding or your energy crashes right after your predicted ovulation, then chances are actually that your body attempted to ovulate but didn't succeed. Hi, I'm Carmen, the founder of the Fertility Circle, and this is exactly what I help women to understand. Not the textbook cycle, but your cycle. And when you learn to read your signs, not your app's algorithm, then everything can make sense, your timing, your symptoms, so it makes sense for your unique body, because we're all different. And if you want to learn this in a structured step-by-step -step way, so you can finally time intercourse properly and stop guessing, then come join me inside my Fertility Circle, and let me teach you how to confirm ovulation the right way and also support your body to actually make it happen.